All right, I only have a couple of minutes to um to just document. I have to document because it's like every minute from one minute to the next is um is an up and a down, up and a down, up and a down. And if I don't have a way to come back and remind myself of the goodness of everything that's going on, I'm just gonna fall to pieces. So let me first catch you up. Um, Y'all know that my husband has been in the hospital today. It's the ninth day. He's been in the hospital. And I've been back and forth taking care of him and taking care of the baby and getting my son back and forth to school and back and forth to basketball and everything else. On Sunday night, my son came home after being gone for the weekend and needed some mommy and me time. And it was really late and I was really tired and he asked me to do his hair. So I did his hair. And while I was doing his hair, I was taking his hair loose with the rat tail gone. Um, the kind that has the little metal tip on the end of it. Anyway, y'all know I don't normally wear my glasses. I'm going to take them off for a second. While I was taking him loose his hair, I stabbed myself in the eye on Sunday night. Literally going through the dark part of my eye and out the white part of my eye. And I didn't know it. I have been able to see. I have been able to do everything. The only thing was that my eye was a little bit light sensitive. It was puffy and it was swollen. Today is Tuesday. So I finally went to the um, ophthalmologist and the ophthalmologist because I thought I had pink eyes so I was going to get the drops the ophthalmologist said to me that I had two holes in my eye one in the black part of my eye or brown or whatever color my eyes are and one in the white part of my eye and did I know how I got that and then I remember that I stuck myself Thank you, Jesus. So, he said, well, your eye is infected, but it's already started healing itself. And I'm surprised that you can see. He said, isn't the body a marvelous thing? And I said, I won't praise the creation over the creator. I said, God made a marvelous thing. So I thank God for that. Now, it's just so much. I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed. <sighs> My husband's spirits have been waning. And he's new to his walk. And it's so easy for him to see this as just too much and just want to curse God and die. But I've been praying and you guys have been praying. Thank you so much. I know y'all have been praying. I know because I feel you holding me up. So. I went back up to the hospital third time today, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I'm supposed to be resting my eye because I literally almost took my eye out. I literally made an eyeball kebab out of my eye. Okay. Jesus. All right. So I left the hospital this evening after falling asleep in the hospital because I'm so tired of all this back and forth. Hmm. And I called my husband on the phone and I said, honey, you got to talk me home because I don't want to fall asleep because y'all got to remember now. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday of last week, I was in a car accident. Nothing happened. Walked away from it without a scratch. Then my husband went into the hospital. Then I stabbed my eye out. And all of this keeping on up and down, keeping on going. 
So I called him and said, honey, stay on the phone with me so that I can drive home so I make sure I don't fall asleep. Because I was supposed to have a patch on my eye, but I took the patch off because I figured on top of being dark, I didn't want to be um, with no peripheral vision. So I took the patch off. I'm going to put it back on. Y'all don't have to fuss at me. So he calls and he says, do you mind if I read the Bible to you? Into everyone's life, a little rain must fall so that the flowers can bloom and grow. And I feel like I've been in a monsoon over these past years. But I just feel so overwhelmed with the blessings of God right now. That I'm strengthened in every trial that comes right now. Because they are coming to make me strong and to encourage me each and every step of the way. That I can't even believe it. I can't hardly even hold myself together. When I tell you right now to send me your prayer requests. When I tell you to share with me whatever's going on in your life, because I will put your petition before God. It's not for fake, it's for real. Because I'm talking to God every day. And while I'm talking to him for me, I will talk to him for you because I'm in my season of my breakthroughs right now. And that's why so much stuff happening to me right now. I know I look like help high damnation with these darn glasses on. But I can see. I'm tired. But I'm going to be alright. I'm getting ready to take a shower. Because he asked me to call him back. So we can read some more. Whew. Thank you Jesus. Thank you God. So all I can do right now. Is thank God. And curse Satan. Because no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Not a car wrapping around a pole. Not a sickness attempting to attack my husband's body. Not a pound that's attaching to my body. Not a comb that's sticking in my eye. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. And when I say we walking on water, even when I feel like I can't make it no more, I will still have hope because hope floats. If I run out of walking on water, I can hold on to my hope and my faith will see me through. You can do whatever you put your mind to as long as you don't quit. Keep walking on the water. 